welcome back here, um, and uh, please uh, avoid napping after lunch. I have 22 uh, slides, so I have uh, 20 seconds for one slide. I will hurry up a little bit. Um, microalgae biotechnology, what does it mean? So, we are farmers, but we do it in photobioreactors. So we need CO2, we need light, we need nutrients, like every farmer, we need water. What makes the difference? We need only a little water because, because we have a closed system and really no water losses. And also the nutrients, we can recycle the phosphorus and nitrogen um, and uh, CO2. We need more CO2 than we have in the air, therefore we need uh, flue gas or other industrial CO2 sources. We are uh, specialized in the cultivation of algae, and I will show you a little bit the technology. So why microalgae? Productivity of microalgae production is uh, five to tenfold higher than the productivity of uh, crops and other plants. Second is we have a kind of designable biomass. Then we use CO2, as I mentioned already, and uh, microalgae biomass is free of uh, lignocellulose. That means we have uh, not the, the complicated uh, processes if we go into a biorefinery. Bio um, then we have no competition with the production of food. I think this is a real uh, problem in the future. If you look at all the uh, rapeseed or uh, ethanol production in the world. And I will show you uh, this point in detail because this is our USP. Uh, net energy production with our system is possible. So, just uh, in short, the company profile. We are a spin off from the Fraunhofer Institute in Stuttgart. Uh, we acquired two patent families from Fraunhofer in 2001. The company was founded in 2000. Uh, we got the seed financing from the Hightech Gründerfonds in 2007. And since uh, then, we uh, start uh, the operation of pilot plants together with uh, E.ON, with the NBW, with uh, Vattenfall and with the Fairenergie GmbH. A number of employees at the moment, seven. Instead of... Uh, complete history, I will show you just the uh, financing of the last uh, four years. And the most important part for me is uh, last year we were break-even. So, of course, we are looking for new funds. But, uh, yeah, I think this is a quite good performance with a little seed investment. Then, FPA technology. We have an airlift photobioreactor. That means the whole mixing is done by a mixture of air and CO2, flue gas, whatever. And it's produced from half shells of uh, transparent plastic. And we, we are in uh, serial production with this kind of photobioreactor. Here you can see one of the pilot plants, the first pilot plant we built in 2008. And what makes the difference between farming, Navarros, nachwachsende Rohstoffe, and algae biomass. So here you see a kind of uh, biorefinery process. It's a sustainable production. We use sunlight to grow the algae. Then from the biomass we take apart either lipids for, uh, for example, biodiesel production or high value products like omega-3 fatty acids. Then we have a residual biomass. We can, uh, in a simple step, just uh, do an anaerobic digestion, so we have uh, flue gas from the biogas plant, and we can use the residues from this anaerobic digestion for uh, making new media for the nutrients. So if we compare with the other systems for growing algae in industrial scale, one system is open ponds. Um, this system um, is, has very low uh, capex, but the problem is um, we have uh, with this system also very low uh, volumetric productivity and cell densities. The closed systems, we have tubular systems and flat panel systems. Tubular systems have a very high energy input. I will show you this in detail on the next slide. 
Here you see the energy you need for the production of one kilogram of biomass. So we can calculate this if we know the energy for mixing the system and, uh, of course, uh, the volumetric productivity. And if we compare with the ener energy content of the algae biomass, you can see that with open ponds or tubular photobioreactors, we have no chance to get a net energy production, only with flat panel photobioreactors. So let's have a look at the customer's needs. One point is CO2 fixation. But we don't make money with this. We only calculate that we have CO2 for free. The second is, of, of course, the use of algae biomass for uh, nutrients, for feed, for food. Uh, one example is uh, omega-3 fatty acids. And the third field is uh, bioenergy, biofuels, aviation fuels, biogas. And we have a lot of uh, customers in this field. The pilot plants were built or paid uh, from the um, power companies like E.ON, ENBW and others. Uh, but in this uh, projects, we include also, for example, the uh, Cognis or BASF, others in the field of uh, high value products or we discuss with ExxonMobil and others the use of the biomass for making uh, biodiesel or aviation fuels. So value chain and positioning, we are at the moment focused on the cultivation because there we have our patents. What we will do after uh, Series B or the financing, we will work on upstream algae biology and downstream. Um, what we don't want to do is really get a vertical company and uh, deliver the products for the customers. So let's have a look at the market. At the moment, all the companies in the field algae mass production work with high value products. But the investment is done for the use of um, biomass for energy. And what we have to do is bring the price down, of course. We, consigned, uh, we <laughs> did the concept design for some pilot plants, for example, in Spain, for the production of omega-3 fatty acids. And on this basis, we could calculate productivity and, uh, on the other hand, of course, production costs. So here you can see annual productivity in different climate zones. And we calculate with productivities more than 120 tons organic dry weight per hectare and year. If you look at the uh, price trends, for example, for rapeseed, you can see that the price is uh, rising immense. And we calculated algae biomass versus rapeseed in dependency from the size of the production plant. And we believe that if we further develop the technology and we go to a size more than 100 hectares, then we have um, the break-even point uh, for the coast curve uh, algae biomass versus rapeseed. Price of, of crude oil, you know already, but if we look at the break-even point for the production of biodiesel, for example, we believe in five years we can achieve this uh, break-even point. So, here are some milestones in the first phase we want to scale our uh, pilot plants and go in R&D cooperations with the companies in the field of energetic use, but also uh, aquaculture, omega-3 fatty acids, and so on. And in the second phase, we uh, plan the market entry as a turnkey supplier um, and yeah, uh, also offer the production of microalgae biomass in industrial scale. Investment case, we are looking for 3.8 million euros. 1.5 uh, could be invested by the KfW and uh, also Fraunhofer and HTGF. Fraunhofer and HTGF are uh, planning to invest again. Um, the investment case, it's an investment in technology leader, no competition on the production of food, huge market demand and add-on strategy as supplier of microalgae biomass. 
Okay, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.